Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this set of videos, I'm going to explain to you Nazi Schneiderman diagrams. But before we get on to that, uh, I just want to firstly explain what the diagrams are used for. So the diagrams are used as a way to express an algorithm. Okay, so that is what Nazi Schneiderman diagrams do. So if you don't know what an algorithm is, basically an algorithm is basically a method, a list of steps for solving a problem. Okay, a list of steps or you can say a method for solving the problem. You have a problem uh, in front of you. It could be any sort of problem, right? It could be uh, how to change your tires or it could be how to cook breakfast. Whatever the problem is, the method for solving a problem, a list of steps. So for example, you take the bread out of the fridge, you toast it or you put jam on it. Like the list of steps required to get this problem solved or to complete the goal is the algorithm. And Nazi Schneiderman diagram is just one way to represent that. So there are other methods for representing algorithms, for example, flowcharts, pseudocode, there's different meth methods, but Nazi Schneiderman is just one way to do that. Okay, so let's talk about how this diagram works. And the most simplest uh, structure of this diagram, which I'll uh, Express right now is called a process, a process block. What is a process block? So in your algorithm, a single action that you want to conduct, you put that in a process block. Okay, just the simplest possible action. So if you were making breakfast, okay, you want to break down every single action and put them in a process block. Or process blocks so the first thing you do is you draw a rectangle okay because each process block is a rectangle and then you decide what you want to do as a single action so let's say I'm making breakfast in the morning what is the first thing that I'm doing for making the breakfast well I open the fridge door right because if you don't open the fridge you're not going to access the fridge. And you're thinking, oh, well, that's really simple. Like, why am I writing this? That's the whole point of algorithms, especially for writing an algorithm for software, is every single step needs to be written down, needs to be very clear. So you write, open the fridge door. Okay, so what is the next thing that happens? Well, you're going to have to copy the rectangle. And I'm going to stack the rectangle just below this what is the next thing that happens okay i'm gonna take out the bread right take out the bread all right so it's probably going to be a little bit cool all right or frozen or whatever so i'm going to um third action Right, and I'm going to say, let the bread defrost, right? Let the bread warm up a bit. And then I'm going to put the bread in the toaster. So you guys get the idea. Okay, so that's what, that's how you write process blocks in the Nazi Schneiderman diagram. You basically stack up the rectangles one by one. Okay, and make sure that the instructions... <clears throat> are executed in the correct order. Okay, so for example, if you don't put them in the right order, let's say that in between this rectangle, oops, let's say I put this rectangle down here and I try to insert another rectangle, put jam on bread. 
All right, I write that here. What happened? It's not following the right sequence. So this is now incorrect. This is now incorrect. You can't do this. Okay, you can't do this. It's uh, incorrect sequence. So sequence has to be correct. Sequence is very important. All right, so that's the whole point of this tutorial is can you put instructions in the correct sequence and put them in a set of process blocks. So that's the first part of Nazi Schneiderman diagrams. Uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to talk about branching and then we're going to get on to loops and so on. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.